Good morning, my friends. It is Friday of the 12th week of Ordinary Time. And since watching The Chosen, this gospel just comes alive. On my blog, uh, I have the link to a four-minute video from The Chosen that you'll want to watch after reading this gospel. Um, my blog is www.frburke23.wordpress.com. So frburke 23.wordpress.com and uh, look under my, my written blog for today and you can see the, the video, not this video, but the video from The Chosen. So a leper approaches Jesus and the video does such a great job of showing the fear of the disciples. Like somebody who, was, who had leprosy was not, was declared unclean. They were outcast. They could not go in to worship God. They couldn't really associate with anyone. If anyone approached them, they had to shout unclean. You imagine, um, you know, what that must have felt like for somebody with leprosy, somebody who might have been a great person, uh, a contributing member of society, and then comes down with this disease, and now they're completely outcast. And so they're trying to prevent him from getting close to Jesus. They're trying to protect Jesus, they think. And, uh, but the leper was desperate. And he made a bold move to approach Jesus. And Jesus, instead of being repulsed, he goes to the man. And his disciples are shocked. And the man kneels down before Jesus and he says, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. What faith. Something in him knew that this Jesus was the one to answer all of his ills. And when we hear about physical healings in scripture, think about spiritual healings as well. Like we may not have maybe leprosy or some other physical disease like that, but we're all ill spiritually. And Jesus comes to us. He wants to meet us there. And he stretched out his hand, Jesus did, and touched him. And he says, I, I will do it, be made clean. And so, without fear, Jesus touches him. So it's not the man who makes Jesus unclean, but it's Jesus who cleanses him. And it's so true for us. Sometimes we don't feel worthy to be near Jesus. We don't feel worthy uh, because we know that we're sinners. And Jesus approaches us in our sinfulness, in the mess of our lives. And he wants to get in the middle of that. And he says, you know, I love you. And he doesn't want to leave us in the muck. He wants to call us out calls us to be the best version of ourselves, be made clean. It's just like going to confession. You know, sometimes because of feeling unworthy, we don't want to go to confession because we think, God can't forgive my sins. That's a lie. This L is not for loser. It's a lie. So the devil is the father of lies, and he's always wanting us to, he's attacking our identity, especially the identity of being a beloved child of God. He doesn't want us, the devil doesn't want us to believe that truth. And so Jesus invites us. He says, you're my beloved son. You're my beloved daughter in whom I delight. And so come to me in, in the mess of your life. Come to me with your sins. I will forgive you. If you have a contrite heart, you know, you're forgiven. You're going to be made clean. And so the leprosy was cleansed immediately. As soon as Jesus, the word of God, touched him, he was clean. And then Jesus told him to go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. Then Jesus had him follow the prescribed law of the day. Give to God what belongs to God and give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And so let us ask ourselves today, where are my illnesses? Where am I sick? What are my physical and spiritual and emotional wounds? That I want to bring to the Lord. And uh, don't feel unworthy. Don't feel like, you know, that Jesus is going to be repulsed by you. It's a lie. The truth is he can't wait to come to touch you, to be with you. Now, he may not heal us like that. Sometimes it's a process. Um, but his love is what, what heals and gives us the freedom that we desire. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for sending your son, Jesus, who is the perfect image of you. Jesus reveals your heart to us. Help us to realize the lies that we believed about ourselves, especially the identity lies that we're unworthy, that Jesus can't love us, can't forgive us. 
and help us to know that you desire to heal us, to make us clean. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and we will see you tomorrow.